This video is for Theme Modeling and Simulation Unit Flashy. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple frame by frame animation. To start with, what we need to do is we need to draw the shape that we want to animate. To do that you're going to have to use some of the tools in the tools palette. I'm going to start by trying to create a stickman. To do that I'm going to select the oval tool I'm going to make sure that the color of the oval tool outline is black. I want to thicken the stroke of this circle. By changing this number, it will make my line, my surrounding outline of the circle, thicker. For example, if I move this all the way up now, draw another circle, you can see that the outline is much thicker. I'm just going to undo this, and to undo, I'm going to go to edit, undo, edit, undo. So, I'm going to make sure that I have the black selected as my outline on the oval tool. I'm just going to change the thickness to the line of the line to around 5 pixels. To draw a circle, or to draw a perfect circle, I click onto the stage with my hash, keep hold of my mouse button, and drag. If I want to make a perfect circle instead of an oval, I can keep hold of the shift key on my keyboard, like that. What I then want to do is I actually want to delete the fill of this. So if I use my arrow tool, or selection tool, I can click just on the blue fill and then press the backspace. And this will delete the fill of my shape. I'm then going to choose my pencil tool make sure that I have the same color selected as the outline of the circle and check that the stroke thickness is the same I'm then going to draw the body of my matchstick man the legs and the arms once I've drawn my shape You'll notice that that shape has now appeared on frame 1 of my timeline. I know that because there is a black filled circle and the keyframe, which is this little box, has turned grey. This means that there is something on that frame. Just to show you for an example, if I delete this person off of my stage, notice that the keyframe now does not have a black filled circle and there is no grey fill on the keyframe. Again, I'm just going to go to edit, undo to get my matchstick man back. What I need to do now is if you imagine that these frames are pages in a flipbook, on page one I have the man appearing here on my stage. I now need to create page two. To do that, I click on frame two on the timeline I then right click and go to insert keyframe. Keyframe is like inserting another page in a flipbook. You can see that what that does is it duplicates what I created on my stage on frame one, puts an exact copy on frame two. Now what I can do is as long as I'm on frame two, which I am because this red line indicates that, I can manipulate this shape or this character, this man. So for example, I can move his leg. Notice that to do single movements of the lines created, if you have a look at the arrow of my cursor, you'll see that at the minute it has a box around it, or at the bottom right of the arrow. If I move my arrow closer to the shape, you can see that that little box turns into a line. Once I have the line, it means that I can curve this line, or like this, where the arrow has got the right angled line appearing, I can change the positioning at a right angle of certain lines. If I want to move the whole object, I must draw a box around the person with the selection tool to select all of it. Or I can double click on one of the lines and any line that is then touching that line is selected. 
I'm now going to move my matchstick man's arms. I'm going to do a full selection and use my arrow keys on my keyboard to just move him slightly to the right. Now what you can see is if I flip back to frame 1 on the timeline, my character looks like this. Because I then manipulated that character on frame 2, if I go to frame 2, my character looks like this. I can flip between them by clicking on this red square and just dragging it back and forth. And you can see that we've already created a very simple animation of the character uh, simulating a movement. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to click on frame 3, right click on frame 3 and insert another keyframe. What this does is it then duplicates what was on frame 2. So now frame 2 and 3 are identical. I'm then going to do the same again on frame 3 by simply manipulating the shape. Again, I'm going to do a big selection of the whole shape, use my arrow tool to just move it along slightly. Now if I flip between the three frames, it looks as if there's more, more movement. Now to continue with your animation, you would simply continue to insert more keyframes. Instead of having to flick between these like that, what you can actually do is put this back to the frame 1, press enter on your keyboard and it will play them through quickly. Alternatively, what you can do is you can press Control and Enter on your keyboard to generate this, which is the final movie. You can see that it's very quick. I'm just going to stop that. If you don't know how to press the Control and Enter key on your keyboard, you can simply go to Control and Play. or the control and enter button you could go to test movie as you can see the animation is very quick to slow the animation down you have two options you can either drag out each frame to last longer and it slows it down slightly or I'm just going to do an edit undo notice the control Z shortcut to do an undo so I'm just going to press control Z to undo to get back to this stage another option is to unselect everything click simply on the background grey area here this will change the properties panel to give you properties of the whole movie and you can simply change the frames per second to a lower number that will then slow your movie down so that is how you create a simple frame by frame animation in flash